Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Happy New Year, Celestial Ones. What a time to be alive, experiencing the shifting tides and the sweet relief of the divine supporting you in all that you seek. I wish that for you. Here you can discover divine wisdom and strategic guidance from the stars and cards to support your spiritual growth, practical success, and well-being with UA Light Celestial Insight. And while we are technically a month into the new year and eclipse season, cosmically the energies are just now really beginning to rise and intensify, sparked by the Jupiter Uranus conjunction that is still in effect, where these planets of spontaneous luck, expansion, and wisdom have begun activating new chapters for the collective, sparking visionary ideas and delivering luck for you to manifest and meet your highest ideals over the next 14 years. But the cosmic energy and a certain invigorating vitality is also returning and rising because from the beginning of May, all planets are direct except Pluto. Mercury is direct and conjunct the North Node and Chiron the first week. Mars, the ruler of Aries, is finally in its home sign of Aries to get us into brave action toward our North Star throughout the month. And Venus is in her home sign of Taurus, joining the Sun who is already there. And from there, we begin the month with a new moon in Taurus on May 8th, the second week of May, where Venus and the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction surround both sides of this new moon lunation, okay? With the new moon in Taurus really close to the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction, enhancing its beautiful and perhaps dynamic expression in our lives. From here, Venus continues closing in toward the sun where they will be both moving in a sort of close proximity to each other, weeks three through four, traveling toward this magical meetup with Jupiter and Uranus. And this is a super conjunction of the benefic planets. So, this new moon in Taurus that happens near the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction, plus this Venusian benefic super conjunction is what makes May a truly transformative and magical month. It's worth the hype. The cosmos are cosmically supporting a new chapter of positive, practical, and spiritual growth and material success really helping big and small efforts have positive results, um, you know, for years to come and for things to go in your favor if you take initiative. Prior to this month, planets Mars and Venus have consulted with Saturn and Neptune and Pisces on what long-term dreams you have and what internal growth, balance, courage, and external resources are needed for your practical progress in all of your affairs. Mercury and Aries made many critical conjunctions with Chiron and the North Node while moving forward, backward, and retrograde, and now forward again along with the recent Scorpio full moon to also help with this deep review and sort of psychological and emotional resolve and healing so that you meet May at this point in time and at this crossroads of your personal and professional rebirth with a renewed sense of self and awareness to really take advantage of how the Jupiter and Uranus conjunction has begun blessing you with knowledge, relationships, creative solutions, and opportunities in important areas of your life. Mars will be in its power position all month, 
And as Mars and Mercury move through Aries, they help facilitate clear, detailed planning, communications, and brave action toward the vision of your highest ideals from meeting with the North Node. As these planets move forward with Mercury, Venus, the Sun, Jupiter, and Uranus all transiting through Taurus this month, they will all be making important and pleasant aspects to each other and to outer planets Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto that can help you have major breakthroughs this month in whatever you're planning and manifesting. They can also help you have long-term success with launches and with promoting yourself and your projects. And to top it off, Jupiter will move with the Sun and Venus into Gemini this month. So the energy of your daily lives and your consciousness may continue to expand and brighten. A separate video will be released about Jupiter's transit into Gemini here soon. But in the meantime, given that Jupiter is entering Taurus in sidereal and Vedic astrology, the Jupiter and Taurus scopes that are here on this channel are still relevant. So definitely check it out. Take a minute to like this video and subscribe to both the YouTube channel and the podcast wherever you listen. And if you're listening into the podcast, tap the stars to leave us a positive review. In the remainder of this video, we'll do a brief breakdown of key dates and aspects and the new moon astrology and then focus on your personal monthly horoscope for May and what this Taurus new moon and super conjunction um, may wield in your lives, right? With divine wisdom from the stars and the cards about how you can strategically work with this energy to successfully navigate the month according to your zodiac sign. If you're listening into the podcast, you can follow along with visuals of the beautiful cards and the key astral calendar dates that are mentioned. Make sure you listen and watch the messages according to your rising sign and then your sun and moon sign and any sign in which you have a stellium of three planets or more. Let's get into it. In terms of highlights, this first week of May is all about your increasing vitality and clarity for improvements. The second week is our new moon week. The third through the fourth weeks include the super benefic conjunctions in the last degrees of Taurus and their move into Gemini as they color the energy of the Sagittarius full moon and make important trines to Pluto retrograde in Aquarius. The final week of May is all about Mercury traveling through those last degrees of Taurus, following in the path of the benefics. In terms of the details, one thing I'm seeing in the astrology and sensing psychically is that it really is manifesting the dark and light impacts according to how you live your life. With the benefics, Pluto retrograde and Aries aspects being extremely positive for those on a sort of light worker path of improvement, you know, by delivering energy, clarity, blessings, resources, and a new world of opportunity. While on the shadow side, they are delivering rude awakenings and painful truths and karma and increasing competition and ego battles for others that we will see publicly in politics and media, entertainment, and more. In this first week of May, the first through the fifth, it really is courtesy of these key aspects. We have Mercury conjuncting the North Node and then continuing to travel in conjunct Chiron um, and also Eris and Aries. We have Pluto stationing retrograde in Aquarius on the 2nd. And then we also have Venus and Taurus squaring Pluto and Mars and Aries sextiling Pluto. On a light note, this first week is all about your increasing vitality 
focus and beginning to gain clarity in your visions, untapped potential and an awareness of how to realize your potential or some great fortune. Mercury in that conjunction with the North Node and Chiron and Aries is reminding you and maybe even painfully reminding you of a divine truth about your past so that it liberates you to begin applying the lessons learned from your past experiences. Maybe your past experiences in relationships or finances uh, or research. It's also gifting you new knowledge so that you move forward aware of your best interest to begin confidently committing to building or transforming something that you're passionate about that involves working with others, having a certain level of trust or clarity and good energy, right? And just showing up as your best self so that you get your best outcomes. And then the 7th through the 10th, um, you know, this second week is our new moon week. We have a new moon in Taurus at 18 degrees. And the theme is all about awakening and the spotlight. And for some, rude awakenings and spectacle. From here, we begin seeing the divine gift us physical, material, and practical support that opens our minds. You might get introduced to new ideas, knowledgeable people, practical tips and systems, or begin seeing results of something new that you're implementing or trying out that gives you a hint of your potential to reach certain immediate and long-term goals, perhaps pertaining to education, health, science, travel, technology, or your earning or promotion potential with what you do for work. From this point forward of the new moon, it's about you discovering how to get ahead, how to set and reach your personal milestones, and how to close the gap between where you are now and your visionary ideal of where you want to be if you are practical, committed, taking care of your well-being, and acting with integrity, pure intention, and good leadership skills from an empowered and healed heart space. That is really what the... Um, Travel of Mars and Mercury through Aries is really helping you to do. For some who have not been on an enlightened path of integrity and light, this is a new moon lunation that may spotlight falls from grace or that may painfully illuminate how certain ideals and successes are out of reach because of the karma of one's choices. And this is courtesy of, you know, Mercury being in that conjunction with Chiron and Eris at the time of the new moon. Also Mars being conjunct Fortune in Aries. While the new moon itself, the sun and the moon are conjunct Uranus and Jupiter. And trining Lilith and Virgo while also making a sextile to Saturn and Pisces. So... These can point to people receiving surprising news of disappointing health prognoses, news of betrayals and issues with co-workers or industry peers, or legal sentences and legal cases not going in their favor. Right? This will be a particularly bad month for people who have committed sexual or violent crimes or did harm to good-natured people. Right? Maybe people who are earth angels, right? And it may be a polarizing time in politics. This new moon is about purification of the mind and illumination of ego, bigotry, and pre prejudice in a number of ways. And in particular, it's connected to the fact that the new moon is making connections with some key stars in the cosmos related to ruin disgrace, disease, injury, accidents, and the emergence of deep truths, okay? So continuing on from the new moon, 
the third through the fourth weeks include the super benefic conjunctions of the Sun and Venus meeting up with Uranus and Jupiter. And the Sun and Venus and Jupiters move into Gemini, where they will color the energy of the Sagittarius full moon while they are making a trine to Pluto and Aquarius, right? And so this all continues what the new moon began. The Sun and Venus are in a sort of loose proximity with each other. And the Sun is leading the way where they will both make their individual conjunctions with Uranus first and then Jupiter, all right? And while they are conjuncting with Jupiter on their way into Gemini, they're going to be um, conjuncting with Jupiter at that last critical degree in Taurus and making a sextile with Neptune that is in the last critical degree of Pisces. So the first conjunction happens between the 12th and the 13th. The sun conjuncts Uranus and Taurus at the same time as Venus uh, makes a sextile with Saturn and Pisces. And then two days later, Mercury enters Taurus and squares Pluto. And then on the 18th, Venus conjuncts Uranus, while the Sun conjuncts Jupiter in Taurus and also makes that, septi that sextile to Neptune, right? And this is when they all then begin to move into Gemini that fourth week, okay? So this third week, these sort of aspects help with troubleshooting, trial and error, and even receiving some heaven sent like financial or technical solutions, ideas or resources appearing and just things beginning to bear fruit. Week four, the 20th through the 26th, we have the benefic conjunctions in terms of the sun, Venus, and Jupiter being closer together. Right, and continuing to move into Gemini one after the other and in position across from our full moon in Sagittarius. And so they are in opposition and coloring the energy of the full moon that we have while also making a trine to Pluto and sextiling Neptune. First, it's the sun that enters into Gemini on the 20th kicking off Gemini season. And then on the 22nd through the 23rd, Venus makes its conjunction with Jupiter as it enters into Gemini. And then the 23rd, we have our full moon in Sagittarius, right? And essentially, like I said, this is a sort of Sagittarius full moon that is opposite this big benefic conjunction, right? And then uh, towards the end of this full moon, that is when Venus makes an exact trine with Pluto. And then Jupiter enters into Gemini and begins closing in towards its exact trine with Pluto in Aquarius as well that will color the beginning of June. And so it's dynamic energy between the second and fourth weeks. Many will be reaching important milestones or beginning a journey toward a new milestone. Many will be graduating and facing a new chapter of implementing what you've learned or discovered in education, research, wellness, in healthcare, in media, or sales. Many will be completing travel and tours while others will begin. And as the full moon builds, and as the benefics move together and trine Neptune in its last critical degree, um, while entering Gemini through the end of the month, there is going to continue to be that duality, right, of celebratory news and breaking news related to great completions, beginnings, and karmic gains, and also public press and gossip and breaking news related to great losses, legal proceedings, legal sentences, scandals, and even natural disasters.
our final week of May. It's all about Mercury's final travel through Taurus in mutual reception with Venus, meaning that both Mercury and Venus are in each other's respective home sign, right? And so it's a really great synastry or symmetry and harmony. And Mercury is essentially, you know, traveling through Taurus in the path of the benefics and also will be making its conjunction with Uranus. And so this means continuing to receive more surprising news, information, propositions in your communications and social meetings. It can be an exciting time for being in flow in your writing, thinking, um, networking, creative practices, and when prayers are answered and there is just good energy and so much hope. You can build great relationships, sign beneficial contracts, and receive powerful words of affirmation. Mercury will be helping you essentially interpret analyze and make smart strategic decisions and actions based on all that the benefics gifted you and revealed to you while it was on its way into Gemini, right? Um, and so while Mercury is on its way to Gemini, that's its home sign and it will be arriving to a position of power when it joins the Sun, Venus, and Jupiter in Gemini at the beginning of June. One thing to know is that because the super conjunctions are taking place in Taurus, who is ruled by Venus, the sort of resources, information, and opportunities that they are bringing to you now are about helping you to begin, expand, or complete chapters related to themes that may have appeared for you during July through October of 2023 when Venus was in Leo. Venus was in Leo for three months, um, which is a sort of momentous thing because Venus goes retrograde and only uh, stays in a sign for that extended amount of time every 18 months. And so it was really working in concert with Jupiter and Taurus at that time to bring you to this dynamic point in time where um, resources and opportunity are really ripe now, right? Sort of divine timing. And so certain themes in your Venus and Leo horoscopes may still be relevant for your current life as well. And they are linked below as a great complement to your May horoscopes. So let's get into your personalized horoscopes according to your rising, your sun, and your moon sign. Hello there Geminis and happy solar return to those who are celebrating this month. The general astrology definitely applies to you all, but specific to you all, you have the super conjunctions and other aspects sparking a 14 year journey of spiritual, mental, emotional, and creative transformation that will boost your psychic and mental powers and that will impact your personal and professional identity and career and community relationships. This month's astrology in the long term impact of the super conjunctions could mean viral moments on the internet or connecting more broadly with the public related to you showcasing mastery of your craft and intellect and you finding a newfound confidence and understanding of how unique and promising your worldview, your intellect, expressive communication talents, and any new long-term professional projects are, especially anything related to music, dance, writing, speaking, research, public intellectualism, uh, teaching, and psychology, or if you're a mystic. Mars and Mercury help with promoting your business, building a new business, an online community, and developing new related ideas and projects. 
you could receive signs that really confirm your competitive edge or your intuition and discernment or the promise of a new idea or signs that confirm you should beware of hidden enemies, keep your boundaries and ego intact, and take the high road or a new direction in career and the company and communities you keep. This is definitely confirmed by the cards with the Four of Wands retrograde, not retrograde, <laughs> with the Four of Wands reverse in the past energy and the world card in reverse in the overall energy in terms of what we got for you in the cards. Related to the collective astrology breakdown that pointed to how the cosmic activity is really manifesting according to dualities, when pulling cards for the Gemini Collective this month, I psychically sense that I'm tapping into two different collectives of Geminis. Those that may be more involved in sort of worldly affairs, ego battles, or even who may feel depressed, attacked, or unfulfilled in their careers, and who are being guided to change their professional lives and really ascend to a sort of higher intentioned and higher vibe spiritual life and career. And then those who are these sort of wise spiritual seekers and professionals who have a long established relationship to esoteric knowledge and mysticism and light work and who are continuing to unlock new levels of awareness and professional growth in some way with these transits. Wherever you fall, the cards just really reiterate, Gemini, that your views are changing. And that pertains to both your literal views on social media and perception in the eyes of others, and to your personal views in terms of your values and philosophies changing and expanding. For mystics, teachers, researchers, educators, artists, etc., you could see your media views reach impact and pay begin to expand greatly this month from you sharing your ideas and wisdom with others. You can begin connecting with like-minded people in a new way from this new, authentic, confident, curious, and wiser self. Your spiritual awareness and connection with the divine are heightening and a portal of opportunities for being a wisdom teacher and more could open for you. For others, I'm getting this message that you're encouraged to really release outdated ways of thinking that maybe you inherited, right? And to upgrade your worldview, your business, your reputation, and what you put your time, energy, and effort into. Anything that is low vibe or lacking higher intentions won't fulfill you anymore and may continue to bring you more problems than profit. In general, just having cons outweighing the pros and bringing karma in relationships that don't elevate your soul. So pay attention to how you teach people to treat you and respect you, right? Having these huge activations in your 12th house and the planets entering your sign is about this being a time of a sort of life review, related to your past year as you're approaching your birthday, also related to your career and your spiritual journey, right? And it it being safe to retreat or open up to new experiences and ways of seeing and expressing yourself. In terms of the card pulled for advice for you this month, we got the bless your past card, right? And it really sort of aligns with all of this. And it says a useful tool to help us to let go of any emotional residue that is still clinging to us from a past experience is to bless your past. Whenever the memory of an event or person comes to mind, Pause and say to yourself, I bless every aspect of my past and I celebrate the contribution that it gave me in becoming the person that I am today. And this is certainly just relevant for those of you who 
are needing to make critical changes to let go of certain things and go in a new direction. While it's also just really great if you are in this sort of really ref reflective time as you are approaching your birthday and your solar returns. So we are going to close out your reading with the angel number message that we got for you. Okay, Gemini. So the angel number that we got for you is 611. Okay. And six is definitely about the sense of moving with grace and, uh, being at a point of gratitude, right? And, um, with the number one is all about beginning new projects and ventures with a view to achieving success, self-reliance. It's about inspiration and fulfillment as well. And it's about stepping out of your comfort zones into a new portal that is aligned with your soul mission, your higher self, your life purpose. And it's about spiritual awakening and enlightenment, which absolutely maps on to the fact that you have these super conjunctions, etc., happening in your 12th house of spirituality, right? And so Angel number 611 encourages you to engage in creative pursuits and projects and concentrate and focus upon your personal spirituality and life purpose. Stay away from negative situations and keep a positive attitude and outlook in regards to your life and destiny. Trust that all you will ever need will be provided for you by the universal energies and this number reminds you that your thoughts, beliefs, and actions create your reality. And you are encouraged to make upgrades to your home or family environment, both within your house and home and within your relationships with loved ones. And I'm getting that this could extend to just in general, the communities and company you keep. That is the message that I got psychically. So this says, take the time to spruce up your living spaces with fresh colors, textures, plants, flowers, whatever you love to have around you. Um, this is definitely about creating a high vibe environment that reflects peace, harmony, comfort, and your inner light and beauty. All right. And it says, listen to your intuition and the guidance from the angels in regards to your life purpose and soul mission. Live your truths and be willing to step out of your comfort zone to accomplish the goals you set yourself. Trust that the angels support, encourage, and surround you along your path. I hope that it is a wonderful and magical month for you. Definitely take a minute to like this video. If you are checking out on the YouTube channel, subscribe to the podcast. And I hope that this message aids in your journey. Share this insight with someone that you love and take good care of your hearts. Hello there Taurus, this month's astrology and the rest of the year is huge for you. The general astrology message is super relevant to you as you have the super conjunctions and the new moon happening in your sign, really sparking a 14 year chapter of beneficial growth, opportunity, and rewards in the areas of self-improvement, self-empowerment, and creative careers. This month could be such a spiritual and mystical month of healing, creativity, and productivity for you, where you begin or deepen a relationship with a special woman or enlightened mentor who helps you spiritually and professionally in some way and perhaps behind the scenes. Their appearance in your life is a gift from the divine to help you heal a big part of yourself, to open and calm your mind, manage your emotions, and to really empower you to feel confident in being a responsible and capable person and leader. For some of you, this is literally your mother, or for some of you, it's a childcare professional that helps you have time for your responsibilities, right? Whoever it is, they arrive to help you feel confident in expressing a powerful aspect of your higher and healed 
integrated masculine and feminine self, right? That maybe you didn't feel safe to express before. And they also arrive to help you take your creativity, career, impact, and connection to social groups to a new level. For some of you, you can be supported in mental or physical health improvements, addictions, unproductive behaviors, processing and understanding spiritual experiences, and building a healthier relationship with things like herbs or spiritual medicines, and your connection with your mind, your body, your work, and social groups. Some of you may be supported with technology or AI and digital tech or fashion for appearances in some way. For any of these scenarios, some of you may have breakdowns that facilitate these breakthroughs. But this month, you could also have like vivid dreams, get into a new sleep and morning routine, or even have incredible creative ideas that you're working on behind the scenes this month as well. With it all just really leading to these potentially positive impacts in your professional life or productivity, and also some big launches in the future. For those who are well on a sort of spiritual path, if you pay attention to yourself in interactions and pay attention to how you're received, you'll begin to understand a power that you have to connect with others and to attract others and really influence beauty in the world and influence outcomes to your liking. You may have a power with words, music, speaking, singing, and creative visualization. And it's a powerful time to set intentions, practice mindfulness and spiritual ritual, and manifest whatever you request. Putting your best foot forward one day at a time can really change your life by the end of the month and set you up for an incredible rest of the year. The advice is to ask for the help that you need and don't let imposter syndrome, fear, or your shadow stand in your way of realizing your vision and living up to your potential. The advice card that we pulled for you this month is called Leadership. And this card says we all lead by example, our words and actions presenting a role model to everyone that we come into contact with. This card asks you to take an ownership of your personal leadership qualities and to align your thoughts, words, and actions with everything that you wish to see in the world. We're going to close out your reading with your angel number message that came through for you. And the angel number message that we got for you is 522. And this number is all about major life changes, making positive choices and decisions, courage, motivation, learning life lessons, and auspicious opportunities. 22 is the master builder number that is all about understanding, encouragement, partnership, you building your views, right? Your views and your ideals for your life. And it's a message that changes in your life will bring about a more spiritual perspective and approach. Your angels ask that you stay balanced and focused during these transitions. 522 encourages you to see the bigger picture, definitely in alignment with what I was, uh, this message I was getting about uh, creative visualization and, and certain things and manifesting being really potent for you all this month. Okay. All right. So it says 522 encourages you to see the bigger picture, make the necessary changes in order to complete that picture. And it encourages you to bring things through to fruition on both the spiritual and material planes. Remain optimistic about current life changes as they are in direct alignment with your divine purpose and soul mission and everything is going to define plan. 522 is a message that strong faith and trust manifest positive energies and auspicious circumstances into your life. Trust that the angels have heard your prayers and positive affirmations and are responding and answering by presenting change 
and opportunities to advance you along your path. Life changes you are facing will bring about new opportunities that will turn out to be the answers to your prayers. So stay calm, balanced, and focused, and trust your intuitive messages and promptings. Use these energies to change things to the way you want them to be. It says, do not waste time or energy resisting change. Trust that everything will work out just fine. So that is incredible. It's always a bit of magic seeing the ways that the angel numbers align with the stars and the cards. Dear Taurus, I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast. Leave some comments and positive review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. And thanks for listening. Take good care of your hearts. Hello there Aries. This month's astrology and the rest of the year is huge for you. The general astrology message is specific and super relevant to you, especially if you are Aries rising with a natural chart. The new moon plus the super benefic conjunctions are happening in Taurus, sparking a 14 year chapter of financial growth, opportunity, and rewards related to your creative careers in any area really, but especially in Venusian or Taurus related areas like beauty, fashion, wellness, self-improvement, self-empowerment, education, mysticism, uh, dance, music, content creation, and commerce, in addition to anything that may include travel. There's a deeply spiritual quality to this astrology for you all in terms of divine fate and fortune being orchestrated in your affairs due to so many different aspects, actually. Like, so many that it would make your reading too long to name and, like, go in detail about all of them. <laughs> the spiritual lesson in your cards this month is the Seven of Pentacles, emphasizing how it's important to focus and use this benefic time, energy, and faded resources wisely and to take action. The moon is in the past position and Ace of Wands is your card for your overall energy this month. And this is related to maybe uncertainty, emotional and spiritual healing and low energy in the recent past related to Mars and Mercury's transits through Pisces and the making a conjunction with Saturn, right? And also related to Mercury's many conjunctions with Chiron, okay? So if you felt sluggish, tired or reclusive it's okay like you needed to rest and prep for maybe big work and big projects ahead of you and to really continue to heal your heart um your body and maybe any trust issues and to focus on being present in daily like caretaking routines and really clarifying your vision and details for something that you're going to be building right Mars was being reborn, and so were you, as well as your faith and your dreams, and you navigating this balance of self-care, parenthood maybe, and care of pets even. And so with Mars finally back in Aries, you should feel renewed and feel that just building all month, right? Especially with these incredible lucky transits. And this is really emphasized, you know, by that Ace of Wands being your overall energy. And also this Page of Wands um, and your outcomes. They really signal that it's time to get back in touch with your creativity, your inner child, your vitality, confidence in your body and appearance, and a sort of fearlessness, right, that supports this new chapter of financial and career growth. The astrology is all about a new chapter of improved self-worth, net worth, and even attention.
Mars and Ceres are helping you with nurturing yourself, your children, your projects, and seeing a sort of beautiful harmony and harvest appear in your life after maybe a time of difficulty or grief from loss in relationships or any trauma. When I began your reading, I got a vision of like a huge flock of birds flying by and then this one lone bird that was like off away from the flock but flying so confidently in a different direction, right? And so there's a message to really maintain your focus on going your own way and in your own direction away from the crowd. Don't flock with birds. <laughs> Stay away from gossip and consuming low vibe things that will definitely begin escalating in the collective this month because they will be distractions, right? You have your eyes set on new and unique visions for your future. You're carving your own lane, maybe even building your own communities, all of which could elevate your status and your finances and maybe even make lower vibe people really jealous, right? So um, when I pulled the cards, this whole middle row of cards just like literally depicted that, you know, protecting your peace, focusing on your personal affairs, not consuming toxic things, especially with this eight of cups here, right? Toxic people, toxic energy, gossip, distractions, but also food, right? It's a powerful time to detox and improve your health, your physique and appearance. And I think you all could be discovering really interesting natural remedies for your nutrition and your lifestyle. I'm really getting this strong message about nutrition, fertility, and vaginal health for the Aries Collective being just really powerful right now. <laughs> so, um, so certain herbal remedies and even yoni seams could be useful and powerful. Um, and in general for the Aries Collective, you may need to be extra careful with protection and any intimacy if you're uninterested in pregnancy, right? For some of you, I am getting a message that your partner doesn't want to use protection because, <laughs> because sex is bomb, babe. Like, it's bomb, you know? And I'm also getting a message that mothers who gave birth recently, um, you could be having some powerful realizations about how your vaginal health and orgasms have changed. Maybe your orgasms are more powerful. I'm getting so many message messages, right? But definitely this message for the Aries Collective about coming to understand your erotic power in a new way, right? Like how enticing you are um, in terms of like your powers of pleasing others, how you look, but even just in terms of like how you move, if you're an artist, right? Maybe your spiritual journey has revealed these things to you, right? And I just got this message about new DNA being activated and that pertaining to like practical ways, but also some mystical things, right? And that's like just a rabbit hole that I won't get into. <laughs> But you're encouraged to use your charm and leadership skills to build trust in a smart way with new work associates, not oversharing, but disclosing enough to allow helpers to help you. This is a time when incredibly helpful and knowledgeable people have arrived and will continue to arrive to help you achieve success in your affairs. You could definitely gain great popularity and money with anything that you do online. There's, of course, this uh, just disclaimer to really protect your info online right now, but overall, with this astrology, set powerful intentions and prepare for a busy and joyous time up ahead from this month forward. We're going to close your reading out with your angel number message. And the angel number message that we got for you all is the number 422. 
So, four is all about practicalities. It's about practical thinking, security, and building solid foundations for ourselves and others. It's about inner wisdom and patience, application and productivity. It also relates to our passions and what motivates and drives us in our lives, okay? And this number is also about our connection with our benevolent helping and guiding forces, right? As we are working in the 3D realm. And the number 22 is the master builder number, right? So it's about all of that work that you're doing, um, to essentially build your dreams, using ancient wisdom, thinking about the future and evolution. It is about balance, harmony, duality, faith, devotion, cooperation, and diplomacy. Okay. And so 422 is this important message to do with your personal spirituality and divine life purpose. It is this confirmation that your prayers, positive attitude, visualizations, and positive affirmations have been heard. Your benevolent and protecting guides are encouraging you to maintain faith and trust in yourself and the universal energies because they are helping you to recognize and acknowledge the divine light within yourself and others. Trust that your desired results will be manifested into fruition in your life and that all is going to define right order. This is a number that encourages you to pursue your ideal career and or profession. If you are prompted to begin or expand a spiritually based career, a practice or profession, the angels will assist with establishing the foundations that will lead to your desired results and long-term success. Yes, this is exactly what the astrology is doing, okay? So it's just working to serve others will manifest all that you want and need in your life. And when you do things you love and put your heart and soul towards achieving your goals, the angels will give you guidance and assistance every step of the way. That is incredible and absolutely, absolutely aligned with the cards and the stars, dear Aries. So I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light Insight YouTube and podcast and leave some comments and positive review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. Thanks for listening. Take good care of your hearts and your body and your mind this month. Hello dear Pisces. So Pisces, with Saturn in your sign, your body, mind, spirit, your businesses, and your family life have gone through a lot of transformation. And there's this incredible sense of you being a vet, right? Seasoned by Saturn's lessons of maturity and professionalism in whatever industry you're in. And in terms of lessons, cultural wisdoms, and even men that shape your life. As you're still learning to lead and love in a new way by metabolizing and synthesizing it all and infusing it into creative projects, people that you pour into, and how you're shaping your home and family life and family values. All of it surrounds you putting non-traditional spins on traditional things and being bold and confident in your choices. With the super conjunctions and new moon in your third house, this is all about making creative director choices in your life. For some of you, this revolves around mixing methods, sounds, colors, ingredients, cultures, and fabrics to reinvent a wheel, your work, and how you present yourself. With the Queen of Wands in the challenge and Nine of Wands as the card for your spiritual lesson this month, it's absolutely about you building back up a confidence, a momentum, and maybe even your metabolism and energy to meet the demands of your busy day-to-day -day life, maybe in prep for some big reveals. I got the psychic message of an opening night, right? There's something here about finding flow again, getting the 
energy channels and even certain sales channels back up again for something new that you're creating. I'm seeing herbs and natural ingredients and costumes or attire with this Queen of Wands card. Also, maybe travel and living logistics, right, that you're having to make decisions about. And you're thinking critically about how to get the effects or crowd or customer impressions that you want. Huge and maybe even career defining, like literary and creative or work projects may be in process in prep for opening nights or publishing and maybe on promo. Success is assured though, and you've been experiencing this, but it may continue to still shock you, right? With this 10 of pentacles showing up here in relationship to what these super conjunctions might bring into your life this month. And I think that spirit wants you to know that, right? Just so that you don't second guess your choices and decisions, given that the choices and decisions card shows up as the advice card. And we also have the eight of swords in reverse here, right next to the page of pentacles. So Lean on siblings and extended family for support and work-life balance. And trust and encourage your coworker partners, right, with whatever it is that you do. I think that some of you could even get surprise romantic and money-making proposals this month to just begin this new chapter of leadership and love if you haven't already. Okay, so we're going to wrap up your reading. Um, let's read this advice card for you. So it says, the choices that we make today are defining the shape of our tomorrow. So Pisces, my voice like literally like went out just now. And I'm looking at this Nine of Wands card here. And um, it's looking to me also like the throat. Um like the inside of the throat, the vocal cords um, are actually kind of shaped like this triangle here um, in the larynx. So there's this message here that I'm getting for the Pisces Collective that some of you may be using your voice in a new way this month or your voice being really integral to some things that you are doing creatively this month. Um and taking care of your voice and your throat could be something that is actually really important for you. All right. I'm getting that purely channeling. Okay. So getting back to the choices and decision, decisions card here that is in your advice. It says the choices that we make today are defining the shape of our tomorrow. And so it is hardly surprising that we sometimes worry about making the right decisions. It says do not shroud your mind in the fog of uncertainty. Just as you have choices today, you also have choices tomorrow and the day after. It says, be assured you can always change course again. Okay. So, yes, all of this is really just emphasizing that, you know, feel confident in your choices. We're going to wrap up your reading with your angel number message. Your angel number message that came through is the number 101. So, 101. And one is about new beginnings. It's about creation and creativity. It's about motivation, progress, initiative, and assertiveness. It's also about your intuition with your inspiration. It's also about happiness, positivity, and achieving success and personal fulfillment. The number zero really resonates with the vibrations of eternity, infinity, oneness. It's about cycles, but also the beginning point. And it's about potential and choice. And it's about developing one's spiritual aspects. It's considered to represent the beginning of a spiritual journey. I'm also getting travel. And it also highlights the uncertainties that they that may entail. So it suggests listening to your intuition and higher self to find your answers. Okay. So 101 is a powerful message that now is a time of personal development, awakening, and enlightenment. 
as you keep your thoughts, focus, and intentions on your soul mission and life purpose, your elevated vibrations attract abundance and positive energies into your life. Use positive affirmations and an optimistic attitude to draw towards you all that you need along your path. Trust your inner wisdom and your intuition. Take positive action in the direction of your dreams and desires and trust that you will find personal success and fulfillment. Wow. <laughs> okay, this number says pay attention to your thoughts, impressions, intuition, ideas. They're revealing the answers to your prayers and providing guidance. It encourages you to trust yourself and that the angels and universal energies um help you to take direction and action as guided step out of your comfort zone in the direction of your inner promptings and know and believe that you will find success and happiness angel number 101 encourages you to keep your beliefs thoughts and mindset focused upon your spirituality and purpose as you are creating your own reality and i'm definitely getting that that is connected to the message that i'm getting here about creative direction and some projects okay so it says engage yourself in creative and positive endeavors and activities whoa and use your personal skills and talents in a productive manner serve your soul mission with passion and enthusiasm this is incredible this is incredible pisces like this is incredible like you all have to literally comment down below and let me know what is going on for you how this resonates for you um yeah because the way that this resonates with the stars and the cards is just really incredible all right so i hope that this aids in your journey be sure to subscribe to the ua light celestial insight youtube and podcast leave some comments and a positive review of what resonates with you and share this insight with someone that you love thank you for listening and take care of your hearts and good luck with everything this month Hello dear Aquarius, the cards and the stars point to big transformations in your image, your self-expression, your values, your finances, and home and family life and close relationships. The astrology is super positive but also full of surprises this month and can indicate that home and family planning are a focus. Some of you may be investing in your home property or new assets and expanding your home, your family, or deepening committed relationships through pregnancy, marriage, pets, shared mutual assets, or conjoining lives with someone in some way. This could also be about expanding and planning creative entrepreneurial ventures that may include travel or opening up different locations or maybe just planning leisure travel and considering locations where either of these right, are exciting and something to really look forward to. But the cars and stars are also indicating that there could be surprises and shakeups for some of you. You'll have to let me know down in the comments how this applies to you and what's going on with you. I did mention that this astrology could be polarizing. How you nurture and care for everything you value may be on the line and perhaps related to what is expressed online. It could be things that you and others publicize pertaining to your body, sexuality, youth, related worldviews, and how you live your personal and professional life. With this astrology, planets of truth and action travel through the signs of the god of war and relationships and highlight circumstances and experiences that center home life, family and friendship life, and daily life concerns like short and long-term planning, even family planning, time management, daily travel and transportation, and daily routines. And that may involve romantic, platonic, and professional relationships with mothers, friends, or significant female figures, 
from professional counsel and advisorship of lawyers, managers, teachers, therapists, or even coaches. This astrology could also highlight circumstances and experiences that involve how you communicate and express yourself through writing, teaching, and digital media and creative projects. So many scenarios, of course, come to mind and could apply. But the cards definitely suggest that after a period of increased self-confidence and financial stability and maybe investment in some sort of creative entrepreneurial or travel venture in the recent past, that more recent events may be threatening that. Events concerning slander, sexually inappropriate behavior, identification, legal and financial and other professional advisors, lies and investigations that include you or someone close to you like a romantic or business partner that affect you and your money. With the five of cups in the challenge and the two of wands as the spiritual lesson, there's the sense of having to face hard truths, disagreements, challenging conversations, and changes in direction. These issues may result in having to cut your losses after having invested in something, something creative or entrepreneurial or, or related to travel that you maybe had high hopes for. There's a decision on the table related to money, desires, and being honest with yourself and others. Questions of whether and if something can really be recovered or ignored. Okay, so the advice card that we have for you all is the Have Your Voice card. It reads, is there something that you need to say? An inability to speak out can leave us with feelings of hurt and resentment, which then create a kind of internal energetic roadblock. Voice your feelings to yourself or write them down. It is time to release the past. Okay, so we're going to wrap up your reading with your angel number message. The angel number that we have for you for the month of May is the number 1033. Okay, so this number is composed of the energetic influences of the number 1, 0, and also the master number 33. So one is related to instinct, intuition, progress and happiness, new beginnings, creation, independence and uniqueness, also motivation, striving forward, and also our ambition. It's a number that reminds us to create our own realities, right? With thoughts, beliefs and actions. And number zero relates to developing one's spiritual aspects and I think that um, in general, right, some of what you all are experiencing is absolutely still connected to the influences of Saturn. So it could be really, really helpful for you all to look at the video that is linked here and also the podcast episode that is related to Saturn and Pisces and the Pluto and Aquarius effects on the collective where there are also some specific um, horoscopes for each zodiac sign. This is absolutely about that. Um, so the number three is about self-expression and communication, manifesting your desires. It's about your skills and talents. It's about friendliness and sociability. It's about creation and creativity. This is absolutely aligning with um, some of those things that I picked up on in the astrology related to, I think, what is this? Your third house, right? Being highlighted. Yes, you have Mars, Mercury, Chiron, and the North Node in Aries in that third house, making some of these aspects, right? So, um, yeah, the number 33 is absolutely corresponded to a lot of those same themes. All right, Master number 33 is about guidance, the spiritual uplifting of mankind. It's about the teacher of teachers. It's about inspiration, but it is most 
definitely about honesty, discipline, bravery, and courage. So this number says to live your life with enthusiasm and optimism. Save in the knowledge that you are well blessed, loved, and supported in all that you do. Live your life with joy, passion, and purpose to manifest your true desires. But be prepared to expand and increase your development, awakening, and awareness. This is a message to give your fears, doubts, and worries to the angels and ascended masters so that they can be transmuted and healed. And I'm also seeing, too, that this is about seeking wise counsel, perhaps, in some affairs, given that we have the King of Swords here in reverse and the advice to have your voice. Okay, so um, this says to... Trust that the universal energies are working things out for your highest good. The angels are sending you positive energies, intentions, and affirmations. Be sure to pay attention to your thoughts, your ideas, and insights about next steps to take. Okay, Any positive changes or projects you are considering could be well worth your while, and you will be assisted in their undertaking. I'm also getting that this is related to like some scenarios that could be cropping up for you all. Like I mentioned, is about the people that you work with, the people that are assisting you or that have been assisting you perhaps in in anything that you do. Okay, so it says, keep a positive attitude about yourself, others, and the world to manifest peace, love, and harmony. Send blessings and positive energies to others in the environment and expect blessings in return. Be the creator of your own experiences by intentionally guiding your own life and consciously choosing the direction of your thoughts, intentions, and actions. Allow your true nature to shine forth and create life experiences that empower you and enrich your life all right dear aquarius so that is what we have for you this month definitely let me know how this applies to you um yeah i hope that this aids your journey be sure to subscribe to the ui like youtube and podcast and uh share this insight with someone that you love thanks for listening and take good care of your hearts Hello there Capricorns. So the cards and stars show how you've had a lot to face and handle in the past, maybe concerning losses and gains. You know, you've been putting out fires, handling personal and professional storms, responsibilities, and amazing opportunities that have made time travel and relationship management, communications and daily routines, maybe a bit of a whirlwind. Perhaps related to home, family, travel, and creative project planning. You know, these examples could be managing home and family property, assets, inheritances, and estates, managing familial co-worker and other meaningful relationships, and the growth with certain creative projects. It seems that it has all put you in touch with a deeper understanding and contemplation about your duality, your psyche, your mental, emotional, and psychological capacity, also your earning potential, but also deep ideas and feelings about what home, culture, heritage, bio family versus pet, soul, and star family, mysticism, and the divine mean to you, which you continue to process deep down. There's a way that the busyness and expansiveness of your life seems to have put a strain on some deep relationship in particular, maybe a woman or a mother figure, um, or with mothering, right? Raising concern in uh, in terms of relationships, right? A deep relationship. It may be raising concern in either of your minds of how the other is doing, where you stand with each other, what do you mean to each other, and whether the connection is mutual or unrequited. It could also be vice versa, right? That this person is the one who has been through a major transformation that has affected or is affecting the relationship. 
This relationship and everything you've been through has opened your mind and transformed your relationship with yourself, your duality, and divine inspiration in your work in a powerful way. Maybe you judge yourself a feeling you haven't met them halfway, even though it's been important to take the time you've needed for your responsibilities and for processing and integrating your experiences and refilling your cup in order to serve anything or anyone else well. Grace and understanding is essential to a strong foundation in relationships and is often a measure of whether you are in a relationship that supports your values, your purpose, and soul growth, or, you know, whether this is a relationship where people honor each other's unique journeys and pour into each other from respective four cups. The Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Six of Cups really relate to what the new moon and the super conjunctions are bringing into your life. It may be a meaningful meeting that brings a breakthrough. You may meet with this person to clear the air around this looming question of whether you or someone else have changed into versions of each other who are unrelatable or incompatible in each other's lives in certain ways. There's this question of how to talk about being in relationship with another when you're attached to a version of them that no longer exists. How to handle the mirroring that happens when someone else's growth or life path creates distance or mirrors to you what you are not. How to behold the divine and how the divine chooses to materialize for a higher purpose. Or how the divine forces us to transform through hardship and loss. It may be that you have a meaningful meeting with clients, colleagues, or counseling and advising professionals to connect deeply on these topics. Or that these are topics and themes relevant to your creative or professional work that you speak on and that is opening a world of fun opportunity for you. It could be that you discover helpful tools or people to assist with planning, management of your busy schedule, and workshopping and publishing any ideas. For those of you with a deep soul mate meeting this month in whatever shape that it takes, I believe that you can and maybe should let yourself unfold with this person. There seems to be great ideas, fun energy, and mysteries to be exchanged that allows you to bless the past and go forward into an exciting chapter of learning, leisure, work-life balance, and expanding your positive impact. Okay, and the advice card that we have for you is called Bless Your Past. And it says a useful tool to help us let go of emotional residue that is still clinging to us from a past experience is to bless your past. Whenever the memory of an event or person comes to mind, pause and say to yourself, I bless every aspect of my past and I celebrate the contribution that it gave me in becoming the person that I am today. Okay, and that feels really profound. I just, it feels like there's just something really profound happening for you, Capricorns, like in a, in a deep spiritual way, right? In terms of how you are showing up in the world and in terms of what it is that you are meant to contribute to the world, right? What you do contribute to the world. And you're receiving a lot of awareness, increased awareness about the value of that. Okay, so the angel number that we have for you is angel 244. So this angel number is composed of the energetic influences and vibrations of the number two, which is related to balance and harmony, cooperation and diplomacy. Wow. Devotion, duty and service, adaptability, partnerships and duality. This is incredible. I just have to say, right, um, because 
I don't read these until it's time to read them for you. <laughs> I get the number, I jot them down, and then I uh, look into it uh, only when it is time to read them to you. So it is as much of a synchronistic uh, surprise to see the way that the stars and the cards align with align with the angel numbers for me as it is perhaps for you okay so number two relates to faith and trust in our divine life purpose and soul mission four resonates with our willpower and effort traditional values stability and ability patience and practicality building solid foundations and working with determination and diligence towards achieving goals it has to do with our passion and our drive in life as well and 244 is a message from the angels that you need to see yourself in a higher light as your true self. And your angels are helping to boost your self-esteem and self-belief. Stay balanced, grounded, and focused, safe in the knowledge that you are surrounded and supported as you tread your divine life purpose and path. This number also encourages you to think of ways to bring your ideas and dreams to fruition and put your efforts towards achieving those goals. With a solid plan in place and a true belief in yourself, there is nothing you cannot achieve. Take balanced, well-considered steps. Keep your focus on positive results and outcomes. Give yourself permission to be all that you can be. Angel number 244 asks that you acknowledge the determination, discipline, and hard work you've put into your endeavors in the past and know that they will have long-term benefits and rewards. Take heart that your will and efforts have been well worth your while and your angels encourage you to keep up the great work you have been doing. Amazing! Amazing! I have goosebumps. Like, it's, this is really beautiful. There's just, like, a lot of light that I'm, like, feeling surround me and that is surrounding the Capricorn Collective, okay? So, dear Capricorns, I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave some comments and review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. Thanks for listening. Take care of your hearts. Hello, dear Sagittarius. The cards and stars suggest that you are celebrating mental health, career, and degree milestones this month. The new moon plus the super benefic conjunctions happening in Taurus are sparking a 14-year chapter of growth, faded opportunity, healing, and rewards related to any wellness, psychology, and career knowledge and experiences you've been learning from to shape your outlook on life, your mental health, your daily life habits, your communication, planning, and organizational skills, and your professional career. There's this main theme about deeply understanding and reframing faded and even nearly fateful experiences in your life, and the power that you have to turn past pain and suffering and even near-death experiences into wisdom and light that inspires others to take care of themselves and make the most of life. This could be about you or your own therapist shining light on dark truths and wisdom about loss and grief. With the cards and the stars, activating themes and experiences in your fourth fifth and sixth houses i'm getting the words shining a light being in the spotlight and being a light okay attention fame wish fulfillment and watershed moments are in the stars and cards for you this month you could be having hallmark performances publications speaking engagements therapy sessions events or conversations that involve significant female figures and crossing a threshold or milestone in your mental health or professional journey there is the theme of learning higher education and graduation in your readings. It can absolutely be about your sort of spiritual graduation, right? As much as it actually looks like watching a procession of people, a lifelong friend, a coworker, children, or even you cross the stage to receive a diploma or degree, right? You, or, or an award of some sort, right? You and people in your life are represented as the king of wands and the hierophant here, right? So bold, wise, intelligent people 
who are creating opportunities and doing light work to be of service in the world. With Mars, Mercury, the North Node, and Chiron in your fifth house of creative artistry, um, intimacy, and fun, right? It's a time to work hard and play hard, right? Celebrating and treating yourself for healing your inner child, nurturing your passions, and doing good work. You are encouraged to believe in your potential to reach a certain goal, right? And your potential to maintain a constant balance of having good days and high self-belief, right? There's this message that I got that you don't have to suffer to be deserving of good things. Um, but you also don't have to keep yourself in suffering, right? After you've recovered from suffering, right? And are now chill like still struggling to believe that you're deserving of good things, right? So just do good things, right? And accept this sort of cyclic flow of good that it creates in your life, all right? So the advice card that we have for you, we have two. It says you've done nothing wrong, and it also says self-care, so it says, whatever has taken place was out of your control and out of your hands. This card asks you to let go of any feelings of guilt or personal blame. This is not your fault. You've done nothing wrong. And the self-care self card reads, self-care is not an act of selfishness. It is an act of consciousness. You're invited to prioritize your own self-care. It may feel selfish to you, but in truth, when you attend to your own needs with love and care, you create an inner wealth that radiates into the world, impacting positively on all that you come in contact with. All right. So there's absolutely this sort of theme of you needing to believe in your light and how much light you share and spread, regardless of like, how dark it may feel in your head sometimes, right? So that's sort of been a constant theme in the uh, readings for the Sagittarius Collective, okay? So we have a angel number message for you, and that number is 433, all right? So we're going to close out your reading with this. So the number four is about your effort and your will. It's about patience and persistence. It's about realistic values, ability and stability, service and devotion, practicality and responsibility, and building solid foundations and achieving positive results. This number also relates to our passion and our drive. And uh, the number three is about growth and expansion, sensitivity, self-expression, creativity, communication and self-expression, joy and optimism all right and then master number 33 is here it relates to guidance and assistance understanding and inner wisdom and spiritual awakening and upliftment definitely getting that being related to some celebrations from reaching some milestones all right and um some significant meetings right with with people who sort of mirror to you um or uplift you, right? Maybe it's a therapist, uh, maybe it's friends, who knows, right? So angel number 433 is a powerful message that you are fully supported, surrounded, and loved by the angels and higher beings of the spiritual realms. You have toiled long and hard, and your angels want you to know that you have successfully manifested prosperity and abundance into your life. Be open to receiving your well-earned rewards and blessings, maintain a positive attitude and outlook to continue manifesting positive abundance into your life yes use your natural positive attributes to uplift others as you purposefully work towards attaining your goals and desires whatever they may be that's incredible be flexible and loving and bring joy to the lives of others is when you live your life with love and light, you manifest positive energies and auspicious circumstances into your life. Be a blessing to others and you will feel blessed in return. This is absolutely what this star card is all about, okay? And the Hierophant here, okay? So, um, this says, um, a timely opportunity or situation 
brings many pieces of the puzzle together for you. You have learned many invaluable lessons and have been patient and determined in your efforts. And now is the time to reap your rewards. All right, Sagittarius, this is incredible. Like, <laughs> I'm feeling goosebumps. It is incredible. The alignment between the higher beings and the stars and the cards here. All right. So I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave some comments and positive review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. Thanks for listening. and Take good care of your hearts and treat yourself. Okay, you deserve it. Hello, dear Scorpios. The cards and stars suggest that you are in store for some transformative breakthroughs in relationships this month. The new moon plus the super benefic conjunctions happening in Taurus and more are sparking a month and a 14-year chapter of growth, faded opportunity, and rewards related to any legal and career, contractual affairs, and any wellness and psychology knowledge and experiences you've been learning from to shape your outlook on life, health, your daily life habits, and interpersonal relationships. It's impacting growth, faded opportunity, and rewards with partnerships in life, work, and love, bringing you rewards and positive outcomes in health affairs, legal affairs, and negotiations from using diplomacy and communication from making balanced decisions and being honest with yourself and others about what you believe and desire. This month's astrology also puts a spotlight on navigating changes, expansion, and surprises in your personal and professional relationships as well. So you'll have to let me know how this applies to you, right, in the comments. The cards and the stars suggest that you've definitely been impacted by your ruling planet Mars being in Pisces in the past and also the recent full moon in your sign right and having a Libra eclipse also in your 12th house for those of you who are Scorpio rising right it could have all begun this period of your beliefs relationships and agreements being altered dramatically right and you integrating big truths and dealing with navigating relationships and maybe discerning false pretenses with this month's astrology you are ruling planet mars which is the ruling planet of action and also the planet of truth, Mercury, they're traveling through the signs of the god of war and the sign of seeking harmony in relationships, right? They mirror the cards in terms of pointing to victory in a situation that pertain to revealing truths, uh, standing your ground with your opinion and wisdom on selections and choices, while maybe working collaboratively with others to achieve something for the benefit of the greater good in some way. For others of you, you may find that even if things do not go according to your wishes in one circumstance, um, in terms of this chariot card being here, right? Um, you may find that it could just be the catalyst that inspires you to seek counsel or a professional opinion and to look elsewhere for more ideal opportunities and harmonious options in relationships that you will absolutely find, okay? If you seek it, the new moon and super conjunctions are blessing you with divinely aligned solutions and connections to overcome any hardships or any issues with making choices, right? So... Lastly, you're really encouraged to take time for your well-being as well, right? So seek out higher truth or maybe professional opinions, but also trust your intuition and discernment of what's best for you, okay? So we're going to close out your reading with your angel number message. The angel number message that came through for you is 455. Okay, let's, let's see what this says here. So Four is related to um, 
working with determination towards achieving goals and aspirations. It speaks of hard work and effort, building solid foundations, stability and practicality, system and order, dependability, honesty and integrity, and our passion and drive. Wow. Five encourages you to be true to yourselves, live your lives accordingly, and this number resonates with personal freedom, making positive life choices and important changes. It's about variety, versatility, adaptability, and resourcefulness in motivation and progress. Angel number 455 is a message that the life choices and changes you are currently experiencing have been brought about by the hard work you have put towards your life path and soul purpose. Look upon them as blessings, as new changes and opportunities will bring about auspicious circumstances for you. Yes, listen to your intuition and guidance from your guides for directions and instructions as to your next steps. This angel number tells you to maintain a positive attitude about the new entering your life and keep an open mind as to opportunities presenting to you. Keep in mind that everything happens for a reason and nothing happens by chance. So even though the reasons for changes may not be clear at this time, trust that all will fall into place for you. Yes, that is exactly the message that I got. It says, these changes have come about so that you can break free from old restraints and constraints and freely pursue your soul mission and life purpose as a spiritual being. You are being supported and guided through important and necessary life changes. Trust and follow their guidance and know that these changes are for your highest good. These changes and long-term results will lead to answers to your prayers. It also says here, it does not matter what other people say. It is how you react and what you choose to believe about yourself that matters. Do things the way that suits you and find your own niche. Yes. Yes. Just on all levels. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right, dear Scorpios. I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave some comments and positive review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. Thanks for listening and take good care of your hearts. Hello, dear Libras. So this month, the stars suggest that you are celebrating positive rewards, opportunities, and breakthroughs related to finances, financial literacy, accounting and taxes, maybe, and maybe even positive financial projections, maybe related to your creative projects and an entrepreneurial venture or with investing or receiving investors or a loan or financial support of some kind. The new moon plus the super benefic conjunctions happening in Taurus are sparking a chapter of growth, faded opportunity, and rewards related to these areas. The cards give a bit more insight to this, however, suggesting that it may be related to overcoming financial hardships or loss from overspending or bad budgeting or um, bad financial decisions, investments, or even losing an investor um, or a source of income or some sort of creative romantic or business partner or partnership in the past. For some of you, you may still be in this process of like spiritual and sexual awakening and also financial and business literacy related to key relationships in any of your creative endeavors. I definitely got the message of overcoming or needing to work through insecurity or fears of failure or anything related to appearance, aesthetics, or fears of not receiving public support or success that compares to someone else. When the world and the hermit are reversed it's definitely an indication to do some deep internal seeking to learn some lessons right it's an indication that some soul lessons may be incomplete maybe causing a constant cycle of issues right and that you may need to turn away from seeking answers in external things i did get this message from the cards that there could be this sense of trying to catch up with someone okay and this could pertain or, or um, play out in a number of different ways. Like it, it could have a sort of multivalent meaning. 
So this sense of trying to catch up with someone, it could be in terms of rekindling or deepening a commitment in a relationship, trying to catch up with finances in the sense, which is what the cards certainly point to. It could also pertain to this sense of trying to catch up with someone financially and in career as in someone that maybe you're pitted up against or that you even put you pit yourself up against in some sort of competition, right? And someone that maybe you want to be as successful as. But there's definitely this message that your success can come from focusing on building a successful business that serves a sincere function and a need, right? And even giving people behind the scenes access to your business or your work project and just proudly expressing yourself. For those who are having a financial or spiritual breakthrough, this could be where your breakthrough in finances comes from, right? Maybe because you have transmuted these shadow themes and empowered yourself and your ventures in these ways, okay? We have the Empower Yourself card here in the advice. You definitely have to let me know how this applies to you. But the Empower Yourself card says, Empowerment does not mean that we have power over others. It means that we have power over ourselves. We honor our capacity for free will and conscious choice while honoring the same in others. So this card asks you to evaluate your present situation and to take an ownership of your right to choose with a recognition of the entitlement of others to do the same. Okay, so we're going to close out your reading with an angel number message. Okay, the angel number message that we got for you all is 522. Okay, so five is about major life change. It's about making positive choices and decisions. Versatility and variety. It's about courage, motivation, learning life lessons, and auspicious opportunities. And number two is about faith and trust. It's about your insight and intuition, partnerships and relationships, support, understanding, and encouragement. And this number is composed of the master builder number 22, right? Which is about uh, service to others. It's about ideals and building your dreams. So 522 is a message that changes in your life will bring about a more spiritual perspective and approach and that you're asked to stay balanced and focused during any transitions. This number is about seeing the bigger picture and making the necessary changes in order to complete that picture. It encourages you to bring things through to fruition on both the spiritual and emotional and material planes. Remain optimistic about current life changes as they are in direct alignment with your divine life purpose and soul mission. All is going to divine plan okay 522 is a message that strong faith and trust can manifest positive energies and auspicious circumstances into your life trust that your prayers and positive affirmations have been heard and the universe is responding by presenting changes and opportunities to advance you along your path Life changes you are facing will bring about new opportunities that will turn out to be the answers to your prayers. Stay calm, balanced, and focused, and trust your intuitive messages and promptings. Use these energies to change things to the way you want them to be. That is incredibly the essence of the Empower Yourself card, okay? So this says, stop wasting time and energy resisting change, embrace change, and trust that things will work out just fine. Okay, dear Libras, I hope that this definitely aids in your journey. Definitely subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave some comments and review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. Thanks for listening and take good care of your hearts. Hi Virgos. So the stars suggest that you are celebrating positive rewards, opportunities, and breakthroughs related to education, sales, 
wellness and career this month. The new moon plus the super benefic conjunctions happening in Taurus are sparking a 14 year chapter of continued growth, faded opportunity and rewards related to expanding your mind and your reach through educational programs, travel, personal or business relationships with people of different cultures or commerce. But this astrology absolutely brings surprises and plot twists as well. The cards give a bit more insight to this, suggesting that you made a major decision to alter the course of your future or had circumstances that did, like a health prognosis or your plans being affected by events in the life of someone close to you. And despite uncertainty, you've been brave and are nearing successful completion of a educational or professional milestone or a lifestyle change that improves your life. Celebrations are in store, reunions, and things you are preparing for. And it is all about the universe wanting you to recognize your strength and ability to adapt, to handle dark times, to heal, and trust your instincts and people's skills along this journey of life. But there is this notion of more change after any milestone this month or related to close personal and professional relationships and you needing to continue following your instincts and the signs wherever they may take you. For some of you, while you've passed significant spiritual tests by healing yourself or being a good Samaritan and supporting others through their struggles, there is this nagging sense that holding something together or holding someone up is holding you back. You may be thinking of relocating on a whim or based on a new opportunity that appears. Maybe there's a need to rebrand yourself, releasing attachments that may be holding you back from a world of opportunity that is opening for you. The advice card that we got for, for you that isn't pictured here is the card of synchronicity though, right? So again, there is absolutely this uh, sort of nudge from the universe to follow your instincts and signs and opportunities that could be opening up for you, okay? So the angel number message that we got for you all is the angel number 616, okay? So Six relates to love of home and family. It's about service to others. It's about responsibility and the financial aspects of life and providing for the self and others. It's about grace, gratitude, and the ability to compromise. And I'm getting it's also about this question of whether you may be compromising too much, right? Um, related to the ways that certain uh, events and circumstances may be uh, compromising your plans um, or right, bringing up this question of whether or not there are some things that maybe you need to release um, so that your blessings and your growth and success aren't compromised, okay? Number six also resonates with personal willpower. It's about solution finding and overcoming obstacles. All right, that is definitely aligned with uh, what I intuited, okay? Number one is about new beginnings and striving forward. It's about willpower, motivation, and progress. It's about self-leadership and assertiveness. It's about attainment and fulfillment, uniqueness and individuality. And it tells us that we create our realities with our thoughts, beliefs, and actions. Angel number 616 brings a message that your prayers and positive affirmations will help to improve all circumstances in your life. Maintain a positive attitude and outlook to rapidly manifest positive outcomes and results. Stay focused on your life's work and your soul mission, and you will manifest an abundant supply, and all of your monetary and material needs will be met. It's a message that the angels are helping you to clear and heal any anxieties, concerns, and limiting belief patterns. 
Let go of fears and allow abundance of all kinds to freely enter your life. You deserve it. This is a number that encourages you also to enhance your home and living space and usher in some fresh positive energies by filling your home and your space with things that you love. This is absolutely, I think, um, touching on the fact that I got the message that maybe some of you may be uh, relocating or getting an opportunity to relocate, right? Or, or to travel more in general. Okay, so this says, um, this number may also be suggesting that a new relationship is imminent, either with a newcomer, a newcomer, or through reignited love in your existing relationships. Be open to giving and receiving love, and do not fear the new entering your life. Be open and receptive to others who show affection for you. Receive all compliments with gratitude and love and also gifts. I think some of you may be getting gifts. Okay. So that is what we have for you, Virgo. Um, I definitely hope that this aids in your journey. Um, be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave some comments and a review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. Thanks for listening and take good care of your hearts and congratulations. I just feel like y'all are celebrating big things. So <laughs> congratulations as well. Hello, dear Leos. The stars suggest that you are celebrating positive and maybe unexpected rewards, opportunities, and breakthroughs related to career this month. Maybe things that entail learning or education, travel, touring, and commerce. In the new moon and the super benefic conjunctions happening in Taurus, they're sparking a 14-year chapter of continued growth, faded opportunity, and rewards related to promotion in your career or expanding your career, your professional reputation, your networks, market reach, or connection with customers, fans, or social groups. It's a great time to launch and promote things, but there could most definitely be surprises and plot twists and issues with this kind of growth, right? Maybe in terms of logistics, making informed and balanced decisions with money, with materials, with contracts, considering how to best represent yourself or a brand or your work for long-term success. And maybe considering how much you let romantic or business partner opinion and social opinion or even competition influence your decisions. There's also this consideration of your own power and influence. Maybe you contending with what opportunities to accept, take, or create for yourself. And contending with how money, power, potential access and your professional growth may be affecting your own core values and your why for doing what you do as well as affecting your relationships and there are these questions right uh, are you tempted by money and material things are you in secret competition with anyone just because you can do something doesn't mean you should and just because you can expand or access something doesn't mean it's good for you, your image, or that it will resonate with maybe your consumers, your customers, supporters, or some core audience in some way. For example, businesses who use raw materials, right? Just because we can exploit the earth doesn't mean that we should, right? So because we have the empower yourself but the and the opportunity cards here, while all of your other cards are reversed, right? It indicates that the world of opportunity really continues to open for you and that these sort of stream of thought things may be the things you're contemplating internally, okay? There seems to be this tug of war between staying where you are or going somewhere else between a desire to keep things the same and satisfy a core audience and maybe also a desire to experience a particular kind of growth, 
success and connection with different groups that require you to change, maybe change old habits, traditions, and circles. And so there's this question of what will you choose, right? <laughs> so let me know in the comments, okay? Um, the advice cards that we have, Empower Yourself in Opportunity, they read, Empowerment does not mean that we have power over others. It means that we have power over ourselves. We honor our capacity for free will and conscious choice while honoring the same in others. And so this card asks you to evaluate your present situation and take into ownership of your right to choose with recognition of the entitlement of others to do the same. And then the opportunity card, this speaks of new opportunities, although they may not necessarily come in the form that you were expecting. That could definitely be the case with Uranus in the mix in the super conjunctions, okay? So this card says, be alert, look beyond the obvious, and be prepared for opportunities, maybe even disguised as loss. If a new pathway opens for you, trust that it is leading you in the direction that you are meant to go. All right, dear Leos, I hope that this aids in your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube channel and the podcast and leave some comments and a positive review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. And thank you for listening. Good luck with everything and congratulations on opportunities and take good care of your hearts. Hello, dear Cancer. So the stars suggest that you could be celebrating positive, synchronistic, and even unexpected rewards and milestones and receiving synchronistic and even unexpected beneficial knowledge and opportunities related to travel, your education, or career, the work that you do to support wellness, social causes, and social groups, in projects that may involve partners, innovation, or integration of digital media and technology. The new moon and the super benefic conjunctions are sparking a 14-year chapter of continued growth, faded opportunity, and rewards in your career and with future social impact through people you know and network with. But while new growth and positive change happens in building new beneficial friendships and networks, there may also be endings and changes in long-standing relationships. And this longing to maybe bypass surface relationships and connect with others on a deep level, as you prefer. I believe that in terms of the cards, this Queen of Cups is you a representation of the divine love that will continue showing up as a blessing on your path as well. And that the Queen of Cups represents maybe a specific someone else who shows up as a divine mirror and as a gift from the divine for you to receive love and support that you give. Some reciprocity, right? There's this sense of Pluto in the eighth house teaching you an important lesson about letting yourself receive and about the many shapes and colors of abundance, right? How it happens through rebirth and replacements after loss. This astrology is also about lessons with being brave to truly stand in your power, to not be afraid of your potential or loss or trauma, and to take advantage of the good that life has to offer and to move with the mystery of life. For many of you, the rewards and continued synchronistic opportunities um, and accolades that you are receiving are a reflection of you doing just that. It is a powerful time to launch and promote things online, to study up on a brilliant idea you have, and to meditate and create from the heart, and to connect with others from all walks of life for feedback these people may end up being able to help you complete or master something. So take advantage of and lean into opportunities, okay? And that is the advice card that we have for you, okay? And it speaks of new opportunities showing up 
and it says they may not necessarily come in the form that you are expecting. Be alert, look beyond the obvious, and be prepared for opportunities disguised as loss. If a new pathway opens for you, trust that it is leading you in the direction that you are meant to go. And this is what you all have been doing and are encouraged to continue doing. All right. So we're going to wrap up your reading with your angel number message that came through. Your angel number message is the number 1110. Okay. So one is about assertiveness. It's about independence and uniqueness. It's about striving forward in new beginnings. And it's also about positivity and achieving success. This number reminds you that you create your reality and experiences with your thoughts and beliefs. You're encouraged to step out of your comfort zone and step towards new directions and opportunities. With the number zero showing up here, it magnifies and amplifies the vibrations of the number it appears with. And so because you have three ones here, it is absolutely about it magnifying and amplifying the appearance of synchronicities and blessings in your life. Okay. So this is definitely about also developing your spiritual aspects, um, the beginning of a spiritual journey and highlights the uncertainties that these things can entail. But you're encouraged to listen to your intuition and higher self to find your answers. This number is a powerful energy of motivation and a signal of achieving goals and aspirations, right? So it says to keep your beliefs, thoughts, and mindset focused upon your life goals, personal spirituality, and serving your divine life purpose. You are now creating your own reality with your intentions and thoughts. And so engage yourself in creative and positive endeavors and activities to enhance your life in many wonderful ways. And they will continue to attract auspicious new opportunities into your life. Be grateful for your blessings and for those yet to come. Use your personal skills, talents, and creativity in a productive manner and have no fear of stepping forth on your path as your angels are by your side offering guidance and support. Okay, listen to the guidance and take necessary steps and just pay attention to your thoughts and impressions and synchronicities that reveal the answers to you and that provide guidance. Do not be afraid to make decisions and take steps towards your soul's calling. It may entail beginning a new venture or taking a different direction in life, but trust that you will find long-term happiness and success. Absolutely, that is incredible, and I wish that for you. I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave some comments and a positive review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. And thank you for listening and take good care of your hearts.